Let's talk football brought to you by Medved Autoplex on I-25 in Castle Rock. Depart the 181 ramp and on I-70 in Wheat Ridge. Exit Kipling, exit Ward, exit the giant Medved Autoplex. We try to cover the whole gamut on this show. Pro football, college football, high school football. We are the source for high school football here in the state of Colorado. And you always wonder, who is going to be the next Christian McCaffrey, truly one of a kind. Well, this following kid comes pretty close. With more on that, let's bring in Todd Romero. Todd? Thank you very much, Vic. Well, the landscape in high school football is really in the top ten loaded with players that are Division Ones. And guess what? They're staying in-state, at least a few of them. Max Borgie from Pomona High School has been unbelievable since his sophomore year. He's had his share of setbacks, but this kid is an absolute beast. He's tore his ACL last year in the playoffs, but he's on his way back, and he is ready for this season. He is, without a doubt, the most electric football player you will see on the high school football field this fall. Oh, he just hopped the player. There he goes, down the sideline. You have got to be kidding. His name is Max Borgen, and he plays for the Pomona Panthers. A season ago, Pomona was perhaps the favorite to win the 5A state crown. They were ranked number one all season long, dominant until this happened. It's called Broncos Reverse. It's against Columbine in the quarterfinal game. Um, I took a sweep to the left side of the field. I ran up about 10 yards. Got stuck up by a kid, drove my feet, and then another kid came in and slipped my leg and tore it. ACL. The blow was a cruel and devastating one to a Pomona team that has been so close to getting that elusive state football title. That's the first thing you think about is, oh my god, I mean, He's worked so hard to get back to this state championship game and then not to be able to finish the season. And you, it's, there's nothing you can do about it. You just feel terrible, but then you got to go into panic mode. How are we going to win another game without him? But we had a lot of great kids that stepped up last year, and it was a lot of fun. When I found out I tore it, you know, I was really hurt. I was bummed, but I knew it just make me better in the long run. Something I have to come back from. Um, I had a buddy, Jake Moretti, who's been through it, so he kind of led me through it kind of a little bit and told me what it was like. The Black Cats continue to battle reaching the title game with Ryan Marcus taking over. Doing so without Borgie was an accomplishment in its own right and showed the character of the Panthers, something Max was quick to point out. They kept it strong, they kept fighting, and they knew they could do it without us, and they did. They made it there, and they had a huge hard-fought game. Soon after the loss in the title game, reality set in. After surgery on his ACL and MCL, it was time for Mad Max to go to work, and I mean serious work in rehab. It's a process, man. I mean, it's nine months at least, and um, I'm about six months out right now. And it's just been finicky. I've been going at it every day of my life since, um, honestly, before even surgery, you do prehab. It's just been an everyday thing, and it's it's slow, but it's a process, and it's great. It's, it's weird seeing it build back up, but it's getting back, and I'm getting confident with it again. And therein lies the key. Borgie wanted the knee done right. No quick fixes, no shortcuts. He wanted the right procedure done that would be best for his future. They're pushing it hard to take my time. I mean, I got a long football career ahead of me and there's no rush to get back too quick, but I think I'll be back for season for sure. I can't tell you when, but there's still no rush. Drills moving straight forward are okay at this six month mark, but there is no lateral movement with any speed whatsoever. Everything done side to side is measured, banded, and protected. As for the worst part of the rehab, well, that was easy. After surgery, they put me in some machine that bent my knee like this for like hours upon hours all day. That was, that was annoying. I mean, the rehabs, it gets annoying after six months, but you just got to keep to it. In three seasons as a Panther, Borgie's numbers are mind boggling. He has scored 45 total touchdowns, 30 on the ground, 10 through the air, and another five on kickoff and punt returns. He averages 7.7 .7 yards a carry and 14.5 yards a reception. He has had the time of his life at Pomona with one chapter left to write. This 
his senior season. It's been great. I've learned a lot. I've really become like a young adult here. It's shaped me to who I am. Coach Madden's really taught me a lot, really brought my game up a lot. And then playing for Pomona has been a journey. It's something, it's a real huge part of my life. Um, I've learned more than I can tell you. <laughs> I remember talking to Coach Mike McIntyre, CU football coach, about Max Borgie mm -hmm. when they got him committed to go up there. And I said, well, are you going to play him in the slot? Is he multi-purpose? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's a running back. He's a running back all the way. You look at him, Vic, and you saw him pumping iron there. And there was a big deal made because Christian McCaffrey only got 10 reps up at the combine. I was there. I saw Max do 18 at 225. Not that that tells anything. But for covering high school football, as long as I have in the state of Colorado – he is as close a talent to Christian McCaffrey as I've seen. That's a lofty thing to say. Mm -hmm. uh, very, and you saw the moves. I mean, it's a lofty thing to say, but this kid is special. Well, and special in that he's staying home as well. If, to have a good college program at a state like in Colorado, you have to have homegrown talent. They must be so excited to be having, having him stay in state. That is a huge key that you've touched upon because the University of Colorado now has gotten commitments. They're getting the blue chippers, and they're winning the state of Colorado. Yeah. They're beating Colorado State, but they're beating other big programs. And you take a look at the left tackle that tore his ACL from Pomona that should have been there last year. He committed to CU, Buddy of Borgies, yeah. uh, both, and he was committed to Ohio State. He was, yeah. So they, they're both going to, to CU. They're keeping that talent in state. And the amazing thing about Borg, he's a 4.0 student. Now, Is he really? you wow. can do the That's surgery impressive. a couple of different ways, and you can do the surgery, um, you can get uh, a cadaver, yeah. but what they did with him is they took patella tendon, because patella tendon grows back. They took the patella tendon to make the ACL surgery repair, and then they also repaired the MCL, but it takes nine months to repair. He's about six months and a week out right now. His target is zero week, but he's not going to rush it because yeah. he's got a long career sure. in football, as he said. Grossing me out a little bit with that science and all that medicine, but whatever. Hey, I, I need to ask this, though, because I remember in the early 80s when Pomona was a force, right? Yeah. Remember when they were really – and now they're back to being what they were. Yeah. How? Well, I, number one, you got to start with the coaching. Coach Madden is incredible. And, and for you, I think they've been to the title game six times. They've only won it once. The last two years, they've lost – Two years ago was painful. Borgie was a sophomore. Had the game won against Valor. Had the game absolutely won. And then he's got the first down. He's struggling for more yardage. If he goes down, game's over. They dominated. The ball gets punched out from behind. Dylan McCaffrey goes down for the touchdown. Game's over. Borgie's got a fire in his chest. I believe Pomona will be back. They're loaded with talent at the talent positions. They got a quarterback in Ryan Marcus. And I got my uh, new play-by-play -play I was going to say, color hey, partner here. Ryan, get to know this guy. You guys are going to work together for a lot of games. How many games are you covering? I don't know. We, we're, we're still going over the schedule. We're yeah. trying to get pick the cream of the crop on yeah. it. And working with me is a, it's a good and a bad. Well, you may not get a <laughs> word in. maintenance. Ryan, you may not get a word in the entire season. Just look good and smile. Hey, that's fine right. because I love high school football. That's yeah. where football is still fun. It so is. I'm looking forward it's to it. It's the purity right, of the game. Todd, good stuff, man. Great Thanks, piece. Man. Thank you very much. Up next on Let's Talk Football, it's time to go social again. You remember our good friend Mike Ferrero? You don't? Well, we'll reintroduce him. <laughs> <laughs>